What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It is time for a review of the new studio album by Industrial Rock and Metal Act Nine Inch Nails. They've been around for quite a while now. It's mainly the solo project of Trent Reznor, it has been over time, but as of late, Atticus Ross, his longtime partner and also someone who has scored films with him, is a full-time member of the band. This release follows up the two EPs and was originally planned to be an EP following not the actual events and add violence, but here we have Bad Witch. Bad Witch is a project that is only 30 minutes long, serving as their ninth studio album, but it's really more like an EP if you ask me, maybe a longer one albeit, but it's only six tracks and two of those are instrumentals. As you may already know, Trent Reznor categorizes each Nine Inch Nails release in the discography with a halo number, and the magic number this time around is 32, and like I said, this followed up a couple of EPs that I did actually enjoy. Joy. Ad Violence was not quite as strong as not the actual events, which had some manic, very strong, and hard-hitting songs, not just instrumentally, but also on a lyrical level. It felt like a little bit of a return to form after the disappointment that was Hesitation Marks. Getting back to present day, we have the brand new album Bad Witch to unpack here. And despite having a lot of tension in its instrumental moments and a lot of brooding sentiments about it, I do think that this record has a lot to say and sometimes the music speaks for itself. Now, if you've been a fan of Nine Inch Nails for a while, you're probably used to the instrumental cuts, but as fans, I think that we're all looking for more vocals from Reznor, especially if he really feels like he's passionate about something, and in the current political climate, he definitely has things to say. He has commentary that is sly, not so on the nose, not all the time at least, but still, it's appreciated when he does put it out there. A lot of people are unhappy with what he'll have to say, and a lot of people think that he's just a sellout, a corporate shill at this point. But honestly, Reznor is just like any other musician that's been around for a long time. He knows a lot about life, he has a lot of experience, and I always like to try and gain something from his records. When I first heard God Break Down the Door, I was left with my mouth a little bit open and cocked sideways like this with my head saying, okay, that's an interesting take. It seems like he was really inspired by David Bowie. Bowie, maybe Leonard Cohen, and it definitely feels like that is true. I think Reznor actually did confirm the inspiration from Black Star, the final album by David Bowie. The sax here, and just the horns that pop up in the melody, along with that glitching electronic industrial leaning grind that it has to the song, and the strong guitars, and the fierce vocals that really just pop in. It threw me for a loop the first time, but honestly, this is growing into one of my favorite songs of the year. This thing is epic. It has a monumental feeling to it, and I love the way that after you listen to it more and more, you just further start to get into the groove. And it might feel like a weird pairing at first, the saxophone, and then the synthesizer, the way that it's toned, it's more Nine Inch Nails, but then the sax is kind of lingering. Trust me, they are making love to each other in the best way possible. The album opens up on the sharp-edged shit mirror, and this is a track that does feel like it has something to say, but also musically, I was really drawn to it. It does have some guitars in the mix that are quite fierce, and it has some technical production on it as well that I do really enjoy. But the more I listen to this EP, the more I guess I got away from liking that song the most, and the more I started to enjoy some of the cuts that followed, including the single God Break Down the Door. Now, a huge shock and surprise for me was how much I got into the instrumental cut Play the Goddamned Part. That one is just aces. Everything from the way that it starts up, it has a little bit of a lull in the middle, and then it breaks down to something that I can only describe as sounding like a keyboard typing, and it's just like a manic loop that plays over and over again, and it just gives me a depiction of somebody sitting in the corner in an insane asylum somewhere, and it's haunted. It's, it's weird. That's nothing new with listening to Nine Inch Nails music, though. If you listen to the older stuff and even a lot of the newer stuff, too, you're able to get vivid imagery, and I think that it opens a weird portal in your mind. And this LP here, maybe it's not the most fascinating thing in the discography, but you really have to hand it to Reznor for still putting in effort and not just trying to cash in on the success of the old hits at this point. He's still pushing forward and 
he's still challenging himself, and that's very evident on a lot of these songs, the instrumentals, and another one of my favorites, if not my favorite, on the entire Bad Witch LP, track number two, Ahead of Ourselves. Atticus Ross's spirit is truly felt on this one, as Ahead of Ourselves plays out like something from a film score that they've done, but with vocals on top of it. It has a really cool kind of warped synth line on it, and also these barrage of guitars and also vocals that'll pop up loudly in the mix, kicking and firing with drums as well. It's something that is kind of a stranger to some parts of the record, at least the intensity, but when it does come up, it's something that's just like the release that you were waiting for. There's a lot of suspense on the album, but when the payoff does happen, the payoff is great. Over and Out is the closer to this record, and it truly is a good conclusion. I like the way that this one does feel like a slow burn. It's gonna lose some people, especially once it gets to the final act of the song, and there is repetition, and it seems like Reznor has done some commenting on the human condition. Of course, he's done this before many times in his career, but just on the track that I was talking about there and praising ahead of ourselves, that one is all about that kind of also decrying religion as well, it seems like, at least questioning it. And then on the closing moment here, there's some repetition that's used. And I think it's important to pay attention to the words there, especially the second part of the phrase, because there is something to gain from that, a little bit to take away there. Overall, the song isn't amazing. I don't think it's one of the best songs in the recent Nine Inch Nails days even, but still, it is a pretty good closer for this record. It kind of sums up exactly what they were going for on Bad Witch, and overall, I am pleasantly surprised with this LP. It is weird calling it a full-length album because it is literally just over 30 minutes long. It's 30 minutes and like 15 seconds, so it just clocks in at over 30. It's six tracks, some of those are pretty lengthy, and if you're not into something that's a little bit more instrumental, if you're not patient with it, then you might not enjoy this as much. And I do understand the complaint of wanting more vocals from Reznor. Trust me, I do as well, but still, I do think we'll get that in the future. Just be patient, and for now, soak up the goodness that is here. For me personally on Bad Witch, I am going to give this a strong 3.5 out of 5. I've come around on it quite a bit since I first listened. If you've heard the record or even the single God Break Down the Door, then let me know your thoughts on it in the comments section down below. Please drop a like on the video while you're here, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do reviews every single week. I also do top 10s, ranked episodes, lots of other stuff, a Q&A, a a lot of stuff on the channel that you don't want to miss out on. If you're able to support on Patreon, then that'd be awesome. If you're not, I totally understand, but it is linked down below if you're able to help out. There's an annotation in the corner. If you want to see another Nine Inch Nails review, then tap right here, or another recent review I did in the world of rock right over here. All of my socials can be found in the description, and other than that, I'll see you soon on ARTV.